In 1993, I had made the fateful decision of uh, giving a speech to a, a group of conservative, uh, politically active Christians in Jacksonville, Florida. I had been anchoring the news for the NBC affiliate there for a number of years and spoke about uh, the mainstream media's bias against them. And uh, that speech uh, got me suspended and ultimately fired from my job. One of the first phone calls that I received after being suspended from my job was from Pat Robertson. And that, that phone call led to, uh, a year later, uh, him hiring me to be the news anchor for the 700 Club. Covering uh, the Republican and Democratic conventions uh, were some of the highlights uh, of my time here. Kerry, that, that he needed to explain to the American people the difference between himself and George Bush's. By the time we got into the studio, it became apparent that our entire 700 Club broadcast for that day was going to be put aside and this was going to be our coverage. And in fact, I think that uh, Pat came over to the news set early on and it was just Pat and me standing at the news set. I went to a local uh, church here in Slidell yesterday and, and, and frankly, I didn't know what to expect. One of the things I distinctly remember about my time in Slidell, Louisiana, uh, after Hurricane Katrina, was worshiping at the Methodist church that had been destroyed by the floodwaters. The common bond that they experienced through that tragedy, knowing that their sovereign God still loved them and still wanted to hear their praises that morning. I think we were all excited that Gary Busey was going to be a guest on the 700 Club. I remember uh, watching Terry interview Gary, and then there was a commercial break, and then I had a segment. So he just sat down next to me, and he, he decided he wanted to introduce that, that story. He's not finished. He, 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 he wanted to come over to the news, and so he wanted to know how I read the news. So. We thought we'd give you the opportunity to read the intro to this story right here. Thank it's you. a very this, important story. It's very important for me, too, and for everyone that's, that's listening. Right. What made it awkward was that the story was not any kind of lighthearted report. It was a very serious story about cancer and, and death. And uh, so it was one of the most awkward moments, but it was also pretty humorous, too. The thing that I will take away from over my 19 years here, the relationships built off the set. Uh, behind the scenes, uh, being able to work with people that recognize the gifts and talents that God has given them, but uh, the love and, and, and care and concern that everyone has here for each other, and it's, it's been a great source of encouragement to me.